Hey everybody, Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com and welcome to the OHT Got Hands Playoff Play of the Day. Let's get after it. The play of the day today takes us to Vegas where the Knights and the Sharks faced off for game six of their series. The first period was a tight one and both teams have been unable to capitalize on any of their grade eight chances thus far until the dying seconds of the frame when Logan Couture creates something out of nothing and ends up breaking the deadlock with under 10 seconds remaining. Mr. Couture made one subtle move prior to releasing the shot that greatly increased the odds in his favor to score the goal, and the odds were definitely in his favor as he sniped one lower right past an outstretched flurry. What I'd like to do is to show you what he did, explain why he did it, and show you some of the ways I teach deceptive shooting by changing the angle of the puck prior to releasing the shot. What he understood when he got the puck in the neutral zone was that time was winding down for the period and he only had one option, enter the offensive zone and rip a shot. The second thing he realized was that the Vegas defenseman wasn't able to gap up because it was a broken play, so he could enter the offensive zone uncontested. Upon entering the neutral zone, he quickly brings the puck to the forehand side shooting position, and this is the hitch. He pulls the puck in towards his feet with the forehand toe of the blade, pushes it back out as he separates laterally slightly, and then releases the shot. What this sneaky little technique did was disrupt the defenseman's gap, forcing him to react by trying to get stick on puck, but by that time Couture had already released the shot under the stick. This move also got the goalie moving and disrupted his ability to track the puck as he wasn't able to recover in order to make the save on a shot that went cross grain. Luck was shining down on me as the next night we had another example of the same move by Ovechkin. See how he comes in with the puck on the forehand, the defenseman goes down swinging his stick at the puck, Ovi adjusts his blade slightly so he can push the puck in towards the center of the ice avoiding the stick and releases a bullet. Before we can get to the push out portion of the move, players first must get comfortable using the toe of the blade. I first start out having them do a quick dribble on the forehand side and then go toe heel, changing the distance away from the body with each rep. Next I'll progress to doing the same one-two dribble, but now toe heel in front of the body. From there I'll add some barriers and forward movement, having the player step towards the orange pucks when pushing the puck out and separating laterally when pulling it in towards the body. After that, I'll add another row of orange pucks two feet apart and spot pucks in each open. The player grabs the puck with the toe of the blade, pulls it in towards the body and releases the shot. Then I'll take away a row of orange pucks and now I'll make a pass that they'll receive on the forehand, push the puck out laterally, adjust the stick blade and rip the shot. And finally I give the player a pass on the backhand, they push it out to the forehand side, pull the puck in toward the body shooting the top hand out, then push it out laterally on the forehand avoiding the cones and release the shot. Give these drills a try off the ice and see if it gives you a competitive advantage on the ice. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.